Okay, so I am continuing my flatting and I am limiting myself to just these simple pellets, right? Because once everything is filled in, once I've gotten rid of all these shapes, gotten rid of the white, then I can easily replace them with any other color, really easily. So I have a lot of contained shapes. This is a really big one. It's the color of my Gorgon, right? And that's going to be the same color over here. Might be the same color of the tail back here. So I'm holding down shift so I can add to my selection as I go. And then if you're ever unclear about what you're selecting, you can always just click the eyeball on your black line art and see what's being selected. So also the top of the ear here, it looks like it'll be the same color. Now I'm going to use the paint bucket and I'm going to hold down option to, to steal a color. And let's go with a pink. Then I go to my flat color layer, which is the only layer will actually let me use this paint bucket, and I just drop it in. Now, what if I want that same color for the tongue? Well, I have to select the tongue first with that magic wand. So going up to my line art, then go into my flat color, then dropping it in. Now, even my whites, because certain things I must want to be white, right? Like the teeth. Because this is what I call the kill whitey phase, I don't fill it in with white. Because it's already filled in with white. But it's not. That's empty. So I'm going to fill it in with off-white. So something just slightly off of white, whether it's gray, whether it's something else. I'm going to use kind of this cream color. And that's going to help me in later stages. So let's select all those teeth. And again, to do multiple, multiple selections, I can hold down shift with the magic wand. Got my toddler's teeth. Got my gorgon's teeth. The whites of the eyes. Let's see what else. That's good for now. And then... I've selected that kind of yellow cream color. I can always change it later, but I go to flat color and I drop it in. Now here, this is what's interesting. I dropped it in here and it all filled in because on my flat color layer, all of those are touching, right? Because there's just empty space. But here, this was all contained. Now those two are touching. Now these, these are all touching. So sometimes you have to individually use the paint bucket in different places if it's walled off by other color. So now this is what I have. And I'm filling in everything. I'm getting rid of all the empty white space. What about inside the mouth? I want something nice and dark, but I, I never fill with black. Filling with black is called full bleed, and it's basically like you're just adding to your inking. But the problem is if you fill with black, that's indistinguishable from your line art. So instead, when I want something really dark, like the inside of the mouth, I'm going to fill with this kind of dark blue or this mixed black. See, so is there anything else I want that color? Maybe right here. Maybe the, the eyes of the Gorgon. Go to flat color, go to my paint bucket, hold down option, steal the color I want. This, this mixed black is something called Payne's Gray. Oh, I lost my selection. How did that happen? Just glitching on me? What's going on? There it is. Get this inside of the mouth too. And I might make this the the dark blue. Okay. 
There we go. Now, when you zoom in, you'll see this, this subtle haloing. This is because of anti-aliasing, right? And you can see if it does a better job filling it in without that. When you uncheck, let's see. But I found it's, it's just about the same either way. So I'm going to fill in the, the main here with kind of a yellowish orange. It in. Let's see if that does any better. If I zoom in on it, whoops. Yeah, it's a little, I mean, it's basically the exact same, but I don't want you to worry about that. There's an easy way to fix it before we're finished. Right, right now, we're just trying to get rid of this white space. Now, I maybe want something a little bit of a cooler color. Maybe I like that orange. I can steal that color. Put it into the beard. Oops. That's what's nice to lock. So it warns you so you're not able to paint on the, the locked layers. And then for all of these kind of subsequent beard colors that are all contained, going to do a variation of it. Hold down shift, get all of these different shapes. And this will be a reddish orange. And very quickly you can understand why it's helpful to have these pellets. Try this. Well, it kind of works. Maybe this. All right, so this is what's beautiful about digital coloring this way and flatting. At any time, I can just use my paint bucket and I can change the color option. You know, just as easily as that. Like it's a coloring book app. Because now all these shapes are, are self-contained. but I still need to, to do the hard work of flatting, of filling them all in. So don't waste too, time, too much time at the beginning, you know, paralyzed with indecision about what the right color would be. Instead, just pick one and you can modify it later. So I'm doing the tongue. Again, you hold down Option to turn your, your paint bucket into a color selector. When you find your color, I want the tongue. Go really bright pink for this. And if you don't like it, you can modify it. In the back of the mouth. Fill it in. Inside of the mouth. 
You get to make as many distinctions of colors as you want. This is that flatting phase. And you'll see that sometimes you forget and leave things out. Like I left that tooth out, so I need to color that. Oh, yeah, I like that color. So the tooth I'm going to fill in with the pale yellow of the other teeth. Again, that can always change. Right now I have very, very warm colors. Kind of nice. And then notice how on the arms of my toddler here, I left, I wanted it striped like a jumper, but I left gaps in it so I didn't have to select each stripe individually. I can just use the magic wand and it will be the whole thing. Whole thing, whole thing, whole thing, whole thing, whole thing. And now I just pick my color. Now, if I don't want to go from my palette, I can always just hold down option, pick a color, and then click on my foreground option and make a variation of that. All right. And that can work as well. some purple in there. I'm always afraid of purple. Some light blue. And just because they're both skin, I don't need the hands and the ears to match her face. I can always vary them. They're all self-contained shapes. So that's what I'll do next. Each little finger, 